Praise God. Beloved, I want to continue with the word of the Lord. I want to title my message, Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. And most probably it will ring a bell in your mind somewhere because about three Sundays ago, I spoke on faithful sayings. And this is one of the faithful sayings that Paul spoke about in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1 from verse 12. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who hath enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. Paul is looking over his life. The Apostle Paul speaks. He says, I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who hath enabled me for that he counted me worthy, faithful, putting me into the ministry who was before a blasphemer, a persecutor, injurious. In other words, he injured people. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. What is Paul saying? He looked over his life and, and, and he sees where he came from, what he's been to him. And many times as we read the letters that Paul wrote, he will always refer to the sinner he was, the bad person he was, and how Jesus came. To change him. He said, I am the least of all the apostles. Born out of time, out of season. That is what he speaks. He remembers that he was a sinner away from the grace of God. Outside of God's mercy. He says, I was a blasphemer. Mocking the name of God. He says... He was a blasphemer. He persecuted the church. He injured many people. And in all of these things, he obtained mercy. He obtained mercy. And he says further, and, and, and grace of our Lord. Can we say this morning that we obtained mercy? As we are sitting here, many of us have been born again from a very bad lifestyle. Many of us have been involved in things that we think back we are ashamed. This is Paul's testimony. I persecuted the church. I blasphemed the name of God. I injured the very people that is God's people. But I... I obtained mercy and I found grace. Beloved, the message today is Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Paul continues. He says, this is a faithful saying worthy of all acceptation. Everybody must receive it. That Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief came to save sinners this is why Jesus came I find that if we've been on the road for some time when I mean the road serving God then it, it seems that we forget where we came from what we've done where we've been and we can look on, on others that have problems with disdain and with self-righteousness If we're not careful, we develop a spirit of self-righteousness. But if we can remember that we were also there, that we were also sinners, that but for the grace and the mercy of God, we find ourselves where we are right now. 
Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. In John chapter 12, verse 44, Jesus cried and said, He that believes on me, believe not on me, but on him whom sent me. Listen to him. If you believe on me, you don't really believe on me. You believe on him who sent me. He says further, He that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. If you see me, you see the Father. If you believe in me, you believe in the Father. If you see me, you see the Father. And then he says, I've been sent into the world to be a light unto the world. He is the light. 